Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now this week we're going to take a look at text editing again. Now I know we've looked at this before, but we've got a brand new feature called typography and it's really, really great. So hope you watch this video, stick around and find out exactly what it's all about and how it will benefit you if you're using Elements. Now, if you are a beta tester, you'll get this in the beta we'll be shipping tomorrow. Um, so you can play around with it yourself. We've just got a few more bits we want to tidy up and finish off. And while this won't be um, completely finished when you use it tomorrow, it is good enough to start testing out, giving us feedback so we can integrate it straight back in. Now, with that out of the way, let's dive in and take a look at what's new. Now, these are all the V2 components. There are some missing um, because we haven't updated them yet. Things like the gallery that will be making a return. It's just not in this build. Uh, so don't panic. Now. I want to talk about the new text components and previously we had heading and paragraph and they were very separate and did a very specific job and now things have changed and we've broadened um, what these components can do. So we've got a text component and a typography component and I'll show you the difference between the two um, and you can kind of think of them as text being simple text and typography, typography being a rich text more like a word processor. So um, I've got this component here and this is just a text component and you'll probably be familiar with this one if you've used um, the heading component previously because it's very similar. We now have um, some new controls in here and this is obviously all the new bits down here for the V2 controls but you can now set whether it's a paragraph, a heading, a span or a div. Um, so a lot more control there, especially if you're um, concerned about semantics and you want to make sure everything's tagged correctly. This is a really nice way to do it. Um, so you can be sure of that. So I've got this set to a heading one and I can just style this however I like with the um, with the settings down here, which you should be familiar with. So, you know, I can change the weight, and you can see this all changing in real time. And that's all great. Um, you've kind of seen this stuff before. And the text component, if I want to edit the text, I just double click and I can go straight into it. Um, change the color like here. Uh, set it to italic, things like that. I can even um, pick a different font for it to use in here. So really easy to use, really straightforward. And um, I would kind of recommend using this in smaller areas. Maybe if you've just got a heading you want to use like on your site uh, or for cards like this, small areas where you need a snippet of text or you don't need, um, you're not breaking it down into paragraphs. So the text component is perfect for that. And you can see I've used it all along here. These, It's perfect for this use. Um, now down here I've got two separate lines and I've used typography but let's go over to the other page I have in this project. Now I've put this together to show you how this feature works or how the new typography component works. Now in my sidebar here I have um, the standard text component we've seen and I've got these set up um, as separate objects you know and this is how you are probably building your text right now and this is the way it works in a lot of other web design apps that you kind of do these chunks of um, content like this um, and that's fine and it's really flexible but it can be a little bit limiting when you need to update big chunks of it um, especially you know if you're trying to do a long article it doesn't all of these are wrapped in their own P and H tags and their own separate wrapper divs and things. So it doesn't really make sense. And that's where the typography component comes in. So rather than having all these separate bits down here, um, like when I drag this in, you know, all these bits for this would be my title, you know, rather, rather than doing all this, let's get rid of those. Um, I've just got this one typography component here. And in here, I can use this a lot like a word processor. Now, this is different to these. Um, we've got some inline styles, but you'll notice at the top, we've got this block style here. And that means we can set a block style on some of these elements. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. 
this elements for Mac OS at the top here, I want this to be my H1. So what we do, I go up here, select H1 and boom, it's H1. And this is paragraph. And here I want to use H2 because it comes after that. And for these, I'm going to use H3. So this is even smaller. So this is great. So you can see now this is um, this is one block of text, really easy to work with. And I can just edit it like this. Uh, let's make this uh, H3 as well. And then I've got a quote here that I can highlight and I'm going to switch that to quote. Boom. And it styled it as a quote. So this is really, really flexible. You know, I can just, this is just styling my document like a, like a word processor. And of course I can still use these inline styles if I need to. Um, so let's see, uh, no code interface. We could make that bold. Um, and, and I can change just single words in, um, in here like before as well. So I can set a color on this. Um, so these are really rich documents and we're really styling this. And we can of course add a link. So I've got elements is ahead of the curve. Let's select that and choose a link. Um, I'm going to send it to the real Mac software website forward slash elements and let's set that link. And um, now you notice we've got a link there with a rollover. Um, it's a little bit light, so we're going to want to change that. And you might be wondering, well, I've seen you set these up and that looks great. But where do we set these styles as a user? You might be thinking that. Um, so what we do is um, there's a little section here called style and these are my styles I've set up in the new area in the theme studio. So let's open the theme studio and um, let me go back here. You can see this style is called long form. So let's select long form. Um, and let's move that over there. So in this section here, this is where I set up all the properties for um, my fonts. So I've got body, which is the body text there. I've got H1, H2, H3, and I can set um, different styles for each each area like quote and code. Um, so this link is in our body text and it's not very visible. So what I can do, I can just change this. I mean, we could change it to anything we want. So I could change it to that and let's change it to blue when I hover over it. Uh, we'll go for a dark blue. So now when I hover in there, it works like that. And perhaps we don't want a underline on it. We can just have the, we can just have the color. So that's nice. And um, we can change anything we want in here. You know, maybe I think this heading is too big uh, or we want it bigger. So I can make, just change it like this. So that's nice. And um, let's go to H2 or H3. So I've got a couple of H3 things down there. And if we wanted to make the color lighter, you can see those changing there. So this is really nice. So this would change everything throughout my entire site. Um, all my text blocks called long form would change to match this. So um, yeah, if you've got lots of pages with articles on and to keep everything in sync. Again, this is why the Theme Studio is amazing because all your colors, your spacing, keeps everything in sync. And now you have this collection of typography settings um, that you can use to change the look of something. So um, let me just show you how uh, the styles kind of work. What I can do, this typography, I'm gonna copy it, uh, this element here, all this text. I've copied it and I've put it in the sidebar Let's just get rid of these other bits. I put it in the sidebar um, and it's pretty big and that's not kind of the style I want. So what I could do, I could say, well, this is my sidebar style now, which I've already set up obviously. And this has made the font smaller, um, changed the uh, color of the links. Um, yeah, and now this fits in my sidebar a lot better. So, you know, I could do, let's get rid of that. So now, um, I can style my sidebar 
uh, let's get rid of those so this is this is looking this is looking pretty good um, and kind of shows you how setting up these styles for these blocks of text is a really nice way to work um, so as well as uh, I set up this long form I also set up a fancy paper style and if I switch to this one uh, you can see we've changed the font there uh, we yeah we've changed the font and it's using a serif font really easy to do and it's just given me a completely different a completely different look so we change it to sidebar long form and it changes everything so it's really nice you know um, so this is a heading um, and this is some body text so what I can do just highlight this again and we'll set this to h3 boom it's easy peasy just like that um, which is really great and you you know for longer content this is perfect for your shorter content you can just use this text block um, and the lovely thing about this this is using the typography plugin for Tailwind um, and it's really really nice so let's go ahead and preview the output now our editor is very clean for our text um, let me just select this so you can see um, our article is um, we've set the wrapper element to article because it's an article and my heading there is h1 and then my code here is a p and where I've made that bold we've just got a strong tag so this is really really clean output it's really really nice and it's definitely something that search engines would have no trouble reading and understand exactly um, the semantics of it and the headings and it's yeah it's just perfectly set up and it's just absolutely perfect so these are the new typography settings and as I said before it's not 100% finished there are some um, bugs and things we need to fix and um, add to but it's good enough that you can start using it and getting a feel for this of how it uh, how it all works and how it all fits together and how you might use it um, yeah as I said uh, and there's this tag option here and that's the wrapper because I set this to article but you can set it to section or a header or a footer and again this is we really wanted to well we know from your feedback that you were keen to have an easy way to access this kind of semantic markup to make sure you're letting Google know what area is what area um, so that's why we've added that it, it's you know and this is all built from your feedback so um, this is absolutely huge this feature the amount of work to get this all working and to implement it like this along with the block editor is uh, it's been a lot of work but it, I think it's really really worth it um, and it's really based from your feedback so thank you for all that and yeah have a play with the beta tomorrow if you're on the beta list um, and let us know what you think um, and also give us feedback uh, from watching this video is uh, I can't imagine this isn't what you want because this is I see this as being pretty perfect because you get the best of both worlds you can um, use the small simple text to do very simple things and kind of have that fine-grained control um, of how things are laid out if you want to do things a bit more fancy or if you've got an article a long form that you just want to write like this you can do that as well so best of both worlds um, do let us know what you think about this and as I say we're aiming to release the beta tomorrow and then after that will be more regular because this this along with the dark and light mode it's been a huge amount of work there's loads of new stuff in this beta it's almost like a v2 and um, the list is so long so i'm looking forward to getting a new beta out so you can use it all and we can just keep iterating on it getting it polished and heading towards that public beta which seems to be getting very close i think so thanks for watching this video and i will be back again soon with another video to give you an update of what we've been up to all right thanks for watching and i'll see you soon Bye.